Today I am urging a surge of these at-home tests. They should be distributed to community health centers, they should be distributed by mobile vans, and given free when a person wants a test. The more testing we have and the quicker we have, the better we can deal with Omicron. That's what the experts tell us. So instead of saying, go to your pharmacy, pay for it, and then maybe your insurance company will reimburse you, give them to community health centers, put them out on mobile vans, and let people get the tests for free. We have plenty of these tests. I helped write the law, the ARP law, that provided the money for these tests. And the HHS has plenty of money for these tests. They're not very expensive. Let's get them out quickly, because it'll cost a lot less to get people tested now and, and stop Omicron in its tracks than it will be to delay and let it spread and spread and spread before we can really get a handle on it. That would be a bad thing to do. So, there's billions that HHS has, and this is one of the best ways that HHS can use it. We gave them uh, close to $50 billion to deal with stopping the spread of the, of the COVID-19 variants. We gave them money for testing, we gave them money for many different phases, and they have a lot of flexibility as how they can use it. Portions of the country are waiting for Omicron to arrive, but it's already here in New York. We have more Omicron in this state than any other, and we have found it in New York City, in Long Island, and in upstate. So we need to do this across the state. We need a surge of these tests so we can stop Omicron um, from spreading quickly and virulently, which is what we don't want.